Good morning, traders. So we are still using the Bill Williams theory, and um, what we are looking at is the Dow Jones, and uh, we're starting off with the monthly chart. Now, the reason I want to start off with the monthly is we have broken this monthly fractional here, and it is also the neckline of a double top. So basically, what that means is I would expect us to move to some form of um, support and I'm not sure what support this found why we turned that level okay so for me the most logical area of the level of support was a 22476 once um, a 2300 broke so You can see 2300 was pretty much where we are now. That's around there. Yeah, 22.9. So there was the first level of support and then second level of support here. So we've basically shut down, but we have not tagged the support level. Let's tie it up there. So you can see there's inside tail, inside tail. So the double inside tail here. Obviously, there's nothing else to the left because the market's just been running straight up. But that is the next logical area of support. Following that will be that fractional level there. Okay, so we're looking at 21,185 or 21,200, and we're looking at 22,430. Those are the downside targets. Now, this here is worrying me. We are exceptionally, exceptionally oversold at the moment. Okay. But as I say, this top level that I've drawn in here is, let me get rid of this one, that is pretty critical. So we could see price come down, find a level in this area, rally back up, come and test this break, fail, and then move the downside. Okay, so a couple of things to be wary of on the weekly. We are far away from the alligator, and the oscillators are in oversold territory. Okay, so that does indicate that we could have the potential for a, a bounce back. But the way the polit uh, politicians are playing this at the moment, I somehow doubt that. Okay, so on the daily, we could also be seeing a... Uh, a wise man number one okay now I'm not entirely convinced of it the deviation isn't that great but it is a deviation anyway you can see how price is moving away from this red line which is the teeth okay so that deviation and we've got a pin bar so normally the way you play that is a entry above this daily bar with a stop loss below the tail now my problem with that is a 900 point stop loss um, which is just insane okay so now yeah, let's see if we can see anything else on the four hour okay four hour we do have a inside bar forming but it is also a triangle okay so there is our triangle and it's a consolidation pattern so it could go either way it could go up or it could go down um, my opinion is it is down alligator is down we are below the alligator um, this alligator is extremely hungry it's pointing down like this so you want to be trading with the trend to the downside um, bear in mind that we have broken some key levels we've broken a very key monthly level at the moment which we are below I think what we want to do is just put that level in red so that we know that's the one. Okay, let's go back to Okay, so there's your key level. You can see how we've been quite some time here before punching through. So I really suspect that we come back up to this area and then the sellers step back in and push it down. So let's watch this on the hour. 
Okay, um, yeah, you can see the, the oscillators are already starting to group to the upside, like it did yesterday. So you see yesterday, we rallied down, continued down, sorry, not rallied, continued down, and then we gently rallied up, and it was nice, um, a half decent rally, back up to this area, didn't quite test that uh, blue line again, um, before giving us a indecision bar off the alligator, there was your entry, uh, basically, you could have taken a entry at a break of the bottom with a stop above here. So that would have given you a 120 point stop loss for a reward of, well, to be honest with you, I would have probably only gone to 2300. So a 300 odd point gain. Anyway, so. Where we sit at the moment is we ended off with some indecision bars, but that is to be expected because it was some profit taking. Okay. Now, the concern I have is that we are moving back to the upside and I am looking for another short. Okay. And my first instinct is to wait here at 23.130. So wait for a short at 23130. What I'm looking for is an hour bar, something like this or like this, off this level before looking for another short. Okay, um, it is another way that we could be looking at this and it's sort of a triangle, flat top triangle, which is also possible. Okay, which would then break this level here and move us even higher. Okay, so this brings me to my next view of this, and that is this wedge. Okay, so, but ultimately I think for this wedge to play out, I want to see a break of it. We've got a break at the moment. I want to see a pullback, come and test this wedge, and then move off. My big problem with the wedge at the moment is there is no level that I can see that we bounced off. Okay, so, and uh, I've looked on pretty much all the time frames this morning and I can't see a really significant level that we bounced off. This is the closest level, which is 22,430. And that is what I expect us to, to move down to go and tag. Okay, so I'm still looking for shorts. The question is just where, obviously, I don't want to be short here. I want to get in on a rally. And uh, you can see we're not creating highs. We're creating lower lows. So, so that was a double top. And I think a double top target is probably what convinced people to take profit. Let's just double check that. Yeah, that's pretty much where what the, the play was. So you can see you saw this is a double top. There was the break. Okay, I just want to, I need to use another line here. I don't want to use that, move that red line, make that blue for me. Okay, so you can see, uh, where am I now? So this was the neckline of the double top. So we broke, came back, tested in one bar, moved down. We're now testing this double top break again. So it's one... I expect another one, possibly get through that up to this level and then another move to the downside um, to come and tag a level because this was just a profit taking area. Okay, so basically this was the double top target. And leave that right. So yeah, so that's my view on this at the moment. I suspect, so I think if we just put a channel in here, we'll see what I am expecting. That's what I'm expecting. Okay. So I'm expecting it to come back up to this channel and then rally down and look where the bottom of the channel lines up. It lines up quite nicely with this level. So for me, the next long scalp area is going to be 24,430. That's what I'm looking for. And I'm looking to be short uh, somewhere Somewhere around 
23,130. That's kind of what I'm looking for. Okay, so yeah, I'm still trading the downside. Uh, trend is still very much the downside. And um, that is my thinking today. Let's just close off with Ichimoku. So the one hour trend is down. Oscillators group the upside. We're coming up to... What is that? 23.05. So 23.50 could also be an area to watch for an entry short. Just uh, looking at the Ichimoku. So it's pretty close to the Kijinsen. Um, the oscillators are grouped up. And there's also a previous breakout here. Which we have tested though. Next one. Um, so we are quite far from from Kijinson. Okay, we're actually very far from Kijinson at the moment, so you would expect either sideways consolidation or a move. So if I'm looking at the four hour, I would expect more of a move up. So in actual fact, I would be looking for this level here of 23,460. Okay, so and the daily as well. We are far from Kijinson and Tikinson right now, but they are pointing down sharply. It is flat at the moment because we had a bit of a rally at the close and also you know, we're going nowhere at the moment. So, so yeah, so there's nothing really um, bullish on Ichimoku either. Everything is bearish. So let's just close off back with the, uh, Bull Williams. So basically what Ichimoku is saying is this is the area you need to watch. Which is 23053. Um, I am of the opinion that 23130 is still the level that we could potentially get to. Okay, it does line up with some other inside tails there and here. Okay, so this is what I'm watching at the moment. I'm watching this oscillator. The minute it starts breaking above the negative 20 here, that's when I'm starting to look for the closest level and we'll get in for the next short. Okay. Anyway, guys, that's me for the day. I'm still trading this thing short, riding the, the trend down and uh, being quite a nice, uh, sizable trade at the moment. Anyway, hope it helps and I will catch you later. Cheers for now.